Hey everyone, it's Jane here. And um, I was just sat at my kitchen table actually. Sunshine is pouring through the windows. We've finally got a blue sky. We can hear the birds singing in the distance and uh, all seems well on the face of it. But actually, as we all know, all is not well at the moment, not just here where we live in the UK, but all around the world. And I was just about to sit and type up a message to post into this uh, onto my business page because I realised I hadn't maybe been uh, quite so vocal recently. And I thought, you know what, rather than actually uh, type up a message, why don't I just come and have a chat with you? You know, we've been in isolation now for 10 days. This is our 10th day. Uh, many of you know that my dad's not well. He's got uh, cancer and he lives on the same uh, farm as us, his house is just across the road and so obviously being high risk it means that um, we're all kind of locked down together. So it's been an interesting um, few days. I think you learn a lot about yourself, uh, about all sorts of things when you are forced to maybe slow down, take the foot off the pedal and uh, maybe just reflect a bit. And maybe that's why I think right now is a good time for me to maybe come live to you rather than uh, post a message which is great to read but there's nothing quite like the spoken word is there so you know I was reflecting and I was thinking today as we enter some pretty tough times and there's no doubt about it we are going to be entering some tough times I was thinking today that in my life you know over the last few years I'm not that old by the way over the last few years I've seen some quite major moments in history you know, not just here in the UK, but all around the world. But nothing that I've seen or witnessed in history, uh, you know, throughout my life compares to what we're seeing now, what we're living through now uh, in the world. Nothing compares to this. We are in unprecedented waters, uncharted. Nobody really knows what to do, how to handle it. And it can be a little bit frightening and confusing and disturbing. And, you know, it can be a time when we're, we, we're all just not really sure what each day is going to bring. Hi, Emma. Hi, Renita. Good to have you on with me live. Um, and I think what's even more disconcerting at times is that the situation changes on a daily basis, sometimes on an hourly basis. And um, sometimes it's impossible to even know what's going to be happening tomorrow or next week or even next month um, and the one thing I do know is though is that what we're going through right now is going to impact each and every one of us some of us are going to be impacted in some really sad ways some of us impacted in different ways but it's going to impact on each and every one of us as we work our way through um, living through this over the next few weeks and months Listen, I'm not on this call today to tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing with your life as we get uh, directed by the government as to what we should be doing. I guess what I'm really here to do is to maybe over the next few days and weeks is to inject some positivity, some enthusiasm, some optimism into your lives. Because, you know, we pick up our mobile phones every day and we're bombarded by the news uh, we turn on the TV if we dare and we're bombarded by the news. And while we need to keep abreast of all of this stuff and know what's happening, we also need to remember that life does go on. And, you know, we, 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 we have a choice as to how we can manage our own mindset. You know, we can either allow the, uh, the, the news and everything that people that we're watching and hearing and seeing really impact on us negatively or we can decide to stay focused and stay positive and try and ride this storm with a bit of a smile on our face. Now listen, I'm not positive all the time and I'm here to tell you that right now. So if you're listening to this and saying, yeah, Jane, but it's all right for you, you can stay positive, you know how to do that. I'm having a bad day. Let me tell you something, guys. I had a really bad day on Friday. I lost the plot on Friday. I had a complete meltdown. I felt overwhelmed overwhelmed with information, overwhelmed with the enormity of what was going on, scared for my family, scared for my friends, scared for people that I know all around the world, and it just overwhelmed me. So what I'm really trying to say to you is, is that we're all human, 
And we're all going to have these feelings of overwhelm, of angst, of, of being scared, of being frightened, of feeling alone when we get shut down in isolation. All of us are going to go through these feelings. But I guess what I want to say to you all is we don't have to go through them alone. Because what I want to do is I want to come and broadcast to you and share with you kind of some of the things I'm going through, some of the things I'm watching, some of the things I'm reading, some of the conversations I'm having right now, um, some of the podcasts I'm listening to. I'm going to be sharing with you something I think is going to be really important, not for you today, but in years to come. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really important exercise for us all to do. So over the coming weeks, what I really want to do is to share with, with you a whole host of things. You know, upbeat, positivity, uh, all sorts of things that I want to share with you. And I want you to join in, you know, participate, pop your messages and your response into the chat bar. Ask me a question. If you've got questions and you want to ask a question, then, you know, by all accounts, pop that question in the chat box. I'm here to answer it for you. But one thing that I will say to you is, you know, I love this industry that we work in. You know, this, this industry, network marketing, I think even when I joined many, many years ago, I saw the industry as being an industry not only to help with my own salvation at that time, because when I first joined network marketing, I was single mom and I was really, really financially strapped and I needed an opportunity. And it's interesting when you first look at network marketing, you just see it as being a vehicle to meet your immediate needs. And I certainly was like that on day one. It was something to meet my needs, take the financial pressure off the home, allow me to give the boys a bit more and to begin to breathe a bit financially. But the one thing I've learned over the years is this industry and especially this company is about a lot more than just that. You know, I believe on a daily basis, we are hope givers. We give people hope and that might be hope for uh, a better lifestyle through using the products. You know, our products really, really make a difference. And, and it's fascinating, isn't it? I've used the products, all of them now, for so many years that you almost get a little bit blasé about them. We know they're good, they're great. We use them all the time. Hi from Greece. But it's not until you have to reconnect with them in times like this and you begin to look at the ingredients in the product and the and the formulations and you just think, oh my goodness, these products aren't good, they are amazing. And I think I feel so grateful today that I'm able to use a range of products that is really helping me protect my health in these troubled times. But more importantly, I feel incredibly grateful that I am allowed to protect my family and my loved ones with the products as well. You know, we all drink, well, I drink two or three of these a day, I have to say, because I'm a little bit addicted to them. I just think they're amazing. Uh, take the supplements and using all the supplements, using the, the you know, the, the, the liquid soap and the propolis cream as a barrier. And I'm really grateful that I can recommend these products to my customers, knowing that they're going to make such a difference in their lives. And I feel so passionate about them because these products make a difference. So I feel eternally grateful that I'm working with a range of products that are, they contribute. They just contribute to people's well-being, and I like that. But I equally think we bring hope in other ways as well. We bring hope with the business opportunity. And I think for some people right now, there may be need forever more in their lives than they ever, ever dreamt possible. And for some people right now who are hurting, maybe through their own personal challenges in this in this time that we're going through, maybe the timing isn't quite right for them at the moment, but maybe in weeks or months to come, the time will be right for them. And I feel very grateful that I'm giving hope to people that they're gonna join a great company with great ethos, great philosophy, great ethics, great values, and a company that's not just around for today, but around forever. You know, I joined 26 years ago, 27 years ago in August of this year, and uh, I'm still as passionate about what I do today as I was when I first started. It really is quite amazing. Hi, Rosanna, how are you doing? So I think that it's, um, you know, I'm very proud to be involved in, in this industry, with this company, with these products, because I believe that we can make a difference. Now, equally, we can make a difference by being strong in these times. You know, I feel very grateful 
that even though we're in lockdown, I can look out of my window and we're surrounded by beautiful gardens and 50 acres of land. So whilst it's tough being on lockdown, at least I can go out and have a walk. Whereas some of my friends in Spain, in France, in Italy, you know, they're locked down in small apartments with no outside space. And, you know, guys, my heart's with you. And if I could wave a magic wand and make it all better for you, I would. But I can't. And that's why maybe I'm doing this live. Because over the next few days and weeks, I want to maybe bring some of my energy, my spirit to you. And hopefully in the five or ten minutes we have together, a couple of times a week, it will make a bit of a difference. So um, I want us to stay focused, to remind ourselves about the good things and what we're grateful for. Not to get too involved in the negativity and the, and the stark reality of what's going on, but to be sensible to know that we have choices. We can decide how we respond to information. <laughs> Don't do what I did last Friday and have a complete meltdown um, because uh, that, that, it's not good really, but you know, we're only human, so we can do it now and again. You know, we, uh, we, um, we, we have to be able to let go of some of our emotions. If we bottle it in, it's not good for us. So remember that uh, we all have the ability to help others through our own words, our own actions, um, through staying fit and healthy ourselves and keeping our immune system strong. You know, we need to make sure that we continually share all that we have with those that we care about because, you know, together we are stronger. Together, as we create an online community, we are definitely stronger. And um, I'm, I've got some great ideas to bring to you over the next few days and weeks. Um, hi, Emma. Hi, Lola. Hi, Ruben. Oh, my goodness, they must be growing up now. Hi, Anne, how are you doing? I see that Sam is on as well, Sam Downs. She's uh, from our home office in the UK, working from home now. Um, yeah, so, you know, let's just build this community together. Let's share some ideas together. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll jump on and I will answer all of them. And I will always answer from the heart. I will never say what you need to hear, what you want to hear, but I'll always tell you what you need to hear. So I guess what I'm saying is there's an element of honesty in the way that I will respond to you. I'm going to share with you some of the books I'm reading at the moment. I'm going to share with you um, some of the podcasts I'm listening to. Um, and I'm also going to maybe occasionally bring on a guest with me as well to maybe share a little bit about what they're doing and how they're coping in these tough times. So whatever you are around the world... Hello, Ganesh. I guess you're calling in from India. Nice to have you on the call. Wherever you're calling in from around the world, let me know where you're listening from. Let me know if it's on a replay. And as I say, if you've got any questions, if you want to share anything with me, do so. And uh, we can go forward together as one big community. Hi, Zara. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. And uh, just remember, at the end of every single day, no matter how stressed you feel, no matter how worried you feel, no matter how anxious you are in these tough times, no matter if you're a mummy or a daddy at home with the kids running around, remember to stay sane and to breathe. I always find that breathing and just gathering yourself for a moment is really good. But remember, the one thing that is so important right now is to stay connected and engaged with people. You know, that's why I suddenly decided I'm not doing a, a written post, I'm going live. Because I think when you can see people's faces, see their smile, see the twinkle in their eye, that you feel that just for a moment, there's somebody there with you on your side batting for you. So we've got Sweden, we've got Romania, we've got India, we've got Dubai. We've got a global audience today. I love this. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Anyway, this was just to set the scene for you all today. Hi from India. I'm going to be coming back with lots and lots of good stuff um, to share with you. I'm going to ask all your questions. Keep drinking this stuff. You have no idea how valuable this is. Keep sharing. From, hi, Betty from Kenya. Lovely to have you. Hi, Martin from Watford. Lovely to have you on the call as well. Thanks, Zara. We're, we're staying safe because obviously Dad is, uh, is, is very seriously high-risk patient. So that's why... Um, we're in lockdown at the moment, but drink your aloe, stay strong, take your supplements, connect with each other as much as possible, share the love, send those virtual hugs, have those uh, gin and tonic date nights on your, um, on your uh, live 
A friend of mine messaged me the other day and said, let's arrange for a virtual gin and tonic together. And I thought, you know what? That sounds like a brilliant idea. Hi from Paris. Hi Paris. Hi Romania. I am loving the fact that you're all with me. Give me lots of thumbs up. Give me lots of your love, guys, because I want to feel it here. I've been on my own now for 10 days and I need to feel some of your love. So, wherever you are around the world, the most important message is right now, stay safe, look after each other, do what's being asked of you, and I will be back with you really soon. Take care, everybody. It's been a pleasure to share just a few moments of your time, and have a really nice evening wherever you are.